All right, guys, let's check out a Tag Heuer Formula One. This is the Red Bull Racing Edition. It's not a limited edition, it's a special edition, but oftentimes these special editions can end up becoming more rare than the limited. I don't know if that's the case with Tag, but I know that's the case with like some other brands I deal with. So big thanks, first of all, I want to say big thanks to my buddy Jerry, who uh, I'll put a link to his uh, Etsy store. He does like all my 3D print stuff, so you'll see like miscellaneous things and those glow monsters that hold the watches and the coasters and all that stuff that's the guy that makes all that stuff so go check out his etsy store um let him know that i sent you he's got some cool products kind of fun another thanks to richard over at saltzman's i'll put a link to saltzman's down below that's my preferred authorized dealer for like tag and brightling and many other watch brands uh luminox he actually sent over a luminox for me to do a video on as well. So now that that's out of the way, let's get into the watch. Now this is gonna cover like many Formula One quartz watches, but this one is, it's nice to go with those special editions. You get unique colorways and, and different boxes and everything like that, but the watch is essentially the same. 43 millimeter on this guy for the width, 48.5 lug to lug. It's only 12.8 millimeter thick. You have a sapphire crystal up top, flat. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm, I'm fairly confident this is 21 millimeter. So you, you should be able to, um, I mean, really, you're going to end up wearing it on this bracelet because the bracelet's actually legit comfortable. Uh, but if you did want to put a strap on this watch, you could do probably a 22 or a 21. It might work. It does taper down slightly to 20. And you have a fully milled out clasp, double, double pushers here, and three micro adjusts. There's a dive extension on this, oddly enough, as well. I think, tag if you're listening to my videos, ditch the dive extension, go for micro adjust, or better yet, have a quick adjust on there. And uh, there's there's still room for improvements on the bracelet for sure, but the bracelet is actually comfortable. 7.8 millimeter screw down crown, 200 meter water resist on this guy, weighing in sized for my wrist, 174 gram. You can see I have the chronograph running. I already pushed this button before we even started the video. So two things have happened with that. If we zoom in, you'll see the subdials. For one, the chronograph hand actually hits the marks. The subdial here at just off the three o'clock is a running seconds. So that's running no matter what all the time. This subdial down here at the six o'clock is a one tenth. That already maxed out, so that's not spinning. But you're keeping track of your minutes over here and it's a 30 minute counter. So the reason you would do that is because you're timing maybe laps that are longer, but you wanted to tap time maybe like starts or something like that. So it doesn't always make sense to have a one tenth and a minute, but in this case, it kind of does for its particular application. So we can reset that, it'll reset all those. And then if we start again, you'll see that one tenth speeding along. That's always kind of fun to watch. And that'll do that until you get to uh, I think the one minute mark or something like that, and then it doesn't. You have the date over here at a four o'clock position. So the four o'clock or the four Arabic number is completely missing. The 12 is oversized. The rest of them are exactly the same size. And then the six is shrunken to fit the space from that subdial. So that's kind of cool. Instead of it being cut off, they just reduced it down a little bit. I like that. And then the 10 is slightly interrupted, but still completely visible. Yeah, you can see it stopped actually at a half minute. So 30 seconds in, it, it uh, stopped on that guy. You have an aluminum bezel insert here, and it's basically a tachometer ring, but it's set up for speed. So instead of saying tachometer, it says speed. You have the red circle there on the chronograph pusher to start and stop. Fully polished on the side, brushed on top, brushed bracelet completely. You have a split pin design for the bracelet pins. And on the case back there, you have a special edition Red Bull Racing. So very cool. Also, before I zoom back out, I want to show you the links because this is part of the reason why they're so comfortable. Because they are all individual pieces. They just fold up on one another. That is what makes it so comfortable. All right, let's zoom back to normal here comes with this little doohickey here, this little pamphlet. 
And there's that if you want to pause that and read that. It does have Super Luminova for the loom. We will test that here in a moment. The movement inside, like I said, is our, like you guys realize it's quartz. It's a Ronda 5040D. So Ronda, which actually it's, it's Harley Ronda now. I think Harley bought Ronda or merged or whatever. So it's Ronda 5040D. It is a, a 13 jeweled movement. So it's actually a really well built movement. And I'm not sure the price on those. This watch, I think the retail on it was $21.50. So just over two grand. I'm sure you're going to get a deal on that. Tag usually has some sort of deals uh, that you can work with. But sized up for my wrist, you can see it looks, wears, and feels great. I'm actually a big fan of the Formula One, as well as like the Aqua Racer and, and a few other models from Tag. But the Formula One just, I don't know, it's, it's kind of a sweet spot. And they have some other uh, colorways and some other models and stuff that really resonate with me as well. I think they even have some GMT models if I'm not mistaken. But it just wears great. So hopefully I got it sized up for Jerry's wrist. Good enough for him to just take it out of the box and wear it. That is my plan. Let's kill the lights and check the loom on this guy. I didn't cheat at all. It basically just has whatever the studio lights gave it. So you can see it's a nice green glow there. And then minus the Arabic 4, which you still have a dash there, you have a clearly legible watch. You, now, you can't see the chronograph running, but you can clearly see the watch in the time. It's very well done. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.